Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. If there's ever been a test of resilience, it's in the COVID era. There's a disease. There's the toll on jobs. There's the restriction on life, living it as we knew it. Well, here are composite letters from two people who are eager to rebound from a COVID-related situation and my response to each. Dear Dr. Nemco, I recovered from COVID after a week of what felt like the flu, but I'm scared of getting it again. After all, we don't know how much resistance you get from getting what level of disease. That said, I think I'm overreacting. I virtually never leave the house. All my shopping is delivered, no contact. All my human interaction is virtual. Even when taking the garbage out, I put on a mask and look out the window to be sure nobody's going to be passing with feet between the time I go out the door and the time I race back in. I am totally stressed out. You're stressed out. Alas, yes, there's much they don't yet know about resistance and the nuances of transmission, so it is probably wise to be safe than sorry. In the absence of definitive data, it's an individual choice as to the level of risk you feel comfortable with, but you wouldn't have written to me unless you felt you wanted to moderate your behavior. Given, though, how careful you have chosen to be, I am assuming that you'll only want to make modest moderations. If so, might you feel good about the risk-benefit ratio of any of these? Invite a friend that you trust is at low risk of COVID to take a socially distanced mask wearing walk or visit an outdoor cafe or outside your home, maybe in your yard. How about every week or two, making a masked socially distanced trip to the supermarket. You can reduce your risk further by being careful to not touch your face till you've gotten home, unloaded your purchases, perhaps wiping packaged goods down with sanitizer and washed your hands thoroughly maybe even changing your shirt or blouse in case fomites, that's the virus particles uh, that are on a, a solid surfaces that are attached to your clothes. You can see that your top is the piece of clothing nearest where you breathe. Or only slightly riskier in all but the most high COVID rate zip codes and other micro locales is to schedule a weekly outdoor TGIF or similar, socially distanced, of course, in front of or near your home. Or some people haven't taken sufficient advantage of a virtual social life. Should you be scheduling a virtual meal, a virtual happy hour, a virtual TGIF with friends, or a date online until you're both sufficiently comfortable with the risk-reward ratio of getting together in person? And finally, I want to say that I respect you for being so careful to protect yourself and others, while also recognizing that some level of moderation can allow you to live more pleasantly while still being responsible. The next letter is this, Dear Dr. Nemco, I'm scared of losing my job. I'm over 50 and have a soft skill set, somehow managing to have gotten by with people skills being detail-oriented and reliable. But my company's bleeding money and laying off many people. It seems that the only people who are immune are the salespeople who bring in the money and the techies that keep the business running. If I lose my job, I fear I'll have a hard time finding another one that pays more than minimum wage. I need three times that to survive. I'm already struggling to make ends meet. By the end of the month, I barely break even or have to dip into my paltry life savings at $20,000, which is in a 401k. And I don't want to touch that because until age 59 and a half, in addition to the income tax, I'd have to pay a penalty to the IRS. Dear Soft Skills, first, some good stopgap news. It appears that the CARES Act will be extended, providing you with cash and eviction protection. And if you lose your job atop the regular unemployment beds, you'll get additional cash and you're, they're waiving the penalties for 401k withdrawals as a result of COVID. You mentioned that your company is mainly keeping salespeople and techies. Well, in that you say you're mainly soft skilled, it may not be realistic to become a techie in short order, but might your people skills be usable in a sales role? Many so-called people people are averse to selling, but might it help to remember that many good salespeople aren't unduly pushy and are ethical? Might it be worth reading a book on selling such as virtual selling which is appropriate for the COVID era, or taking a short online course on the subject, such as sales training, which is a course offered on udemy.com. If you lose your job, of course, you already know to tap your network for leads. But additionally, it may be wise when so many people are looking for work to be more aggressive, cold call desired employees, even show up at a small business or nonprofit's doorstep. It's easy to say no to an email query, harder to say no to a human face. After all, imagine that in the middle of the night you got an anonymous phone call asking if you would take in some baby. You might well decline. But imagine instead that the doorbell rang, and when you answered it, you found a baby. You'd more likely take it in. 
Maybe if you walk into enough on-target workplaces, one of them might just take you in. In any event, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemko. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments, and I especially like it if you hit the share button below, share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.